Hey, it's Dave from CG Shortcuts. Today, we're gonna do this. We're gonna make this hamburger animation with soft body dynamics in Cinema 4D. Okay, here we are in Cinema 4D. Let's take a look at our scene. As you can see, we've got a hamburger in the middle. And if we have a look up here under the burger null, we've got all of our ingredients as separate geometry. And we've got everything separated out by a bit of space. We've also got a simple plane for our floor. Because we're gonna use it for dynamics, we wanna keep those subdivisions way down to one. We also need something for our burger to be served on, so we've got our plate. Okay, we want our burger to fall from the sky. So let's start by moving all of this stuff up a bit. About there should be fine. Right, we want our burger to be a soft body. So let's come up here and under tags, simulation tags, let's grab a soft body. And we want our burger to collide with the floor. So we'll grab the floor and under simulation tags again, we'll bring in a collider body. So in theory, that should be job done. But let's hit play and see what happens. Hmm, not a whole lot. I think we need to tell the dynamics to treat all of these different ingredients as separate objects. So back in the collision tab, let's change this to apply tag to children. And that should affect all these layers of geometry individually. Let's give that a go. Okay, that's running extremely slow. And now it's doing some weird stuff up here. That's not cool. Let's stop that. Let's rewind and see what's going on. If we come up to display and turn on our lines, We'll zoom in. All the geometry looks pretty low res and nice, except the cheese is looking a bit heavy. And we're getting issues up here. If we zoom in, it's calculating all these little sesame seeds individually as well. And because they're intersecting our bun mesh, they're going crazy when we start the simulation. So we're gonna have to do this a different way. Let's zoom back out again, get everything into position. Then we'll start by duplicating our burger null. So we've got a separate set of all these ingredients. Then let's hide the old ones. We're gonna turn all these new ones into low poly versions. So let's come up here and under this menu, we'll grab a polygon reduction. And if we hold Alt while we've got our null selected, it should apply it to all the children. And you can see over here, that's already done a great job of reducing our polys. One thing I'll just mention as well, if you're using an older version of Cinema 4D than version 19, you can find the polygon reduction tool under the deformers menu instead. Okay, if we zoom in here, you can see our sesame seeds have been polygon reduced as well. But well, we actually don't really need them in there at all. So let's get rid of them. If we click on our bun top, you can see our sesame seeds and burger bun have been merged together in one polygon mesh. So let's come up here to mesh and under conversion, we'll hit polygon groups to objects. And if we come over here and just turn off our polygon reduction for a sec, you can see that separated all the individual objects into separate geometry. And if we grab all of these all the way down to here, these are all our sesame seeds. As you can see, let's just hit delete and get rid of those. So we're just left with our burger bun. Cool, let's turn our polygon reduction back on and we'll see if anything else needs fixing. I think it's all looking pretty good, but I'm not too sure about these big triangles up on our cheese. We might need to do this a different way. Let's come over here and delete him for now. And we'll move our bun out of this empty mesh and delete that. Let's rename this to bun top proxy and we'll add proxy to all the other objects here basically we just want our dynamics working with our low res objects which will be driving our high res objects so all of these will become the low res proxy objects if that's not making any sense just bear with me i'm sure it'll be a bit clearer after the next step right we need to bake that polygon reduction effect into all of our objects so let's right click it and come down to current state to object then we'll come back up here and delete it because right here, it's created a new null and it's applied the polygon reduction to all of these objects. And we'll just plonk our burger out here and get rid of that. And it seems to have renamed everything how it was before, which is kind of annoying. It must be a bug in the new version. Let's quickly rename all of those again. And now we can come up and grab our null and let's go and apply that simulation tag soft body. Again, we want it to affect all the children. So let's change this to apply tag to children. We'll zoom out and see if this is gonna work for us. Yeah. So it's going way faster, but it's squishing up a bit too much for my liking. But if we come over to our soft body tab, we can fix that pretty easy. If we just come down to stiffness, we'll crank that right up to 900 and give that a go. Getting there. The thinner objects aren't working very well, but if we come over to collision, let's change the shape from automatic 
the static mesh. That should make the dynamic shapes around our objects a little bit more accurate, as you can see here. Although, because they're pretty thin objects, we're getting some inner penetration, which is causing this weird wiggly thing. Let's just come over here and change the size increment to one centimeter, so they're a little bit further apart. And it's looking a little bit better. Still a bit of wiggly stuff going on. Maybe we should come up and hide our plates so we can see this a bit better. Uh, I think if we come down to bounce and change that to five and 90% for the friction, we just might get a better result. And that's looking way better. It's starting to keep its shape and look a lot more like a burger. The only little issue we've got here is that it takes ages to settle. It's still kind of bouncing around. But that's easy to fix as well. Let's rewind that. And if we come up to force and down to linear damping, we'll put that up to 50% and the same for the angular damping. And that's gonna make our dynamics settle a bit quicker. You can see here when it finishes bouncing, it comes to a stop more or less. Okay, now that we've got that sorted, we need to bring our cheese back in. So let's come up here and grab our old high res cheese and holding control, we'll drag that into our proxy set. So it makes a duplicate and we'll zoom in and get a better look at this cheese. Because it's so thin, I think the soft body dynamics are gonna have a bit of a hard time calculating this one. So what we're gonna do is bring in a plane and make that the proxy for the cheese. So up here, we'll grab a plane and if we hold Alt when we click, it should become the parent of the cheese and appear right in the same position, just like that. So let's scale it down to match the dimensions of the cheese, something like that. And we can delete our new high res cheese and our plane now becomes the proxy for the cheese. So let's rename that. Now we need to turn that into geometry. So let's right click and come down to make editable. Okay, let's zoom out and play that back and see what we've got. Right, our cheese looks a bit more like cardboard. It's a bit stiff. So our dynamic settings for the rest of the burger aren't going to work for us with the cheese. So let's pause that and rewind. We'll pull our cheese proxy out of this null and we'll grab this tag, holding control, drag it up here to duplicate it. Now we'll just come down to soft body tab. And remember we put that stiffness way up. Let's put that back down to zero. And I think that should fix it pretty well. Let's press play and have a look. First go, look at that, behaving a lot more like cheese now. So that's our low res proxy burger all sorted. Now we just have to make the animation drive our high res meshes. Okay, before we go any further, we just wanna make sure we don't get our two burgers confused. Right now they look pretty similar with those textures on. So let's come up here and delete all of those. So now our proxy burger is all gray, so we can easily see that. And our high res burger is still in color. So let's start linking them up. We'll start from the bottom, we'll grab our bun bottom and we'll come up to create, deformer and mesh. And holding shift when we click this, it should become a child of our bottom bun. So we'll come down to the object tab and where it says cages, it's basically asking us, which mesh do you want to drive this mesh? So we'll grab our bun bottom proxy and drag that in here. So now our proxy is driving our high res bottom bun. If you're not completely confused by now, you're doing well. Let's just hit play and see what happens. So our proxy is still doing its thing, but the high res version isn't following along. That's because we forgot one vital step. We need to press initialize. And now our bottom bun is following the other bottom bun, but it's stretching and doing some weird stuff. And again, that's because of interpenetration where the two meshes sort of just overlap. You can see that a little bit better if we click on this display tag and turn off these lines so we can see the geometry. Ideally, we want our proxy geometry to be slightly bigger to encompass the high res geometry. But there's a little cheat you can do if it's not. Let's click on our mesh and down under the advanced tab, we want to change external from ignore to surface. And then it's not going to be so picky. And now you can see it's following along nicely. There's our high res. And now it's just a case of applying that mesh deformer to all the other pieces and connecting them up. So we can grab this one and hold control, drag it under the lettuce. And we'll come down, delete that out and stick our high res lettuce in. Press initialize and we'll hit play. And there goes our lettuce. Easy. Right, I'll do the rest in turbo mode and come back with the finished burger. 
That was quick. And there we go, looking good. Although if we look a bit closer and turn those lines off, our cheese is intersecting our beef. We want a bit more space between our meat, our cheese and our bun. So if we grab our cheese dynamics tag again, we'll come down and tick this box and we'll set the margin to four centimeters to give it a bit more space and hopefully lift it off the beef. So we'll hit play again and just watch this part. Ta-da! McDonald's would be proud of that burger. And that pretty much concludes this tutorial. One thing though, if you're still getting issues with your burger, you might want to try pressing Control D and coming over to the Scene Dynamics tab and bringing the old steps per frame up a little bit, which usually gives you a bit more of an accurate result. Let's not forget to turn our plate back on and we'll hit play. And that's making me very hungry. I think it's time to wrap this tutorial up and go and have some lunch. As always, you can download the project file below to save a bit of time and you can get a whole bunch of extra stuff on our Patreon page. You can also post your artwork or anything you've made from one of the tutorials on our CG Shortcuts Facebook group. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you want to see in the comment section below, or you can leave a like or dislike. And don't forget to subscribe and click on that little bell icon for more videos and free stuff. Catch you next time.